Thank you very much, Myra. Done deal tonight. Key state lawmakers say they have reached a deal that expands the voucher system in Wisconsin. But school choice supporters say the compromise deal is so watered down it's basically worthless. Our Mike Lowe spoke with some of the key players in Madison. He has tonight's political lowdown. Bartering in the back rooms. It has been a busy few days here at the state capitol as key senators hammer out framework on school vouchers. Tonight, it appears they have a deal. He showed me the deal, which I was part of. State Senator Luther Olson is the chairman of the Senate's Education Committee. He says a handful of lawmakers have been meeting with the governor behind closed doors. The uh, majority leader in the Senate, the president of the Senate, uh, the speaker of the assembly, who are all party to this. Now he says they've all worked out a deal that would expand school vouchers statewide, but drastically scale back the governor's original proposal. I've ha now had four meetings with the governor this week. Senate President Mike Ellis, a Republican from Nina, was the chief critic of Walker's original plan. I know I can't get everything I want, and the governor knows he can't either. I figured I wouldn't get exactly what I asked for in the form that I asked for, but I wanted to have more money for public schools. I wanted to have more money for existing choice schools uh, per pupil in, in both cases, and I want to have more choices. Ellis wants public schools to be the top priority, and he says the new deal includes per pupil funding increases for public school students. We've been pushing to get $150 in the first year and then a new 150. The governor had originally sought to expand vouchers to nine districts. The new deal expands vouchers to any district, but places hard limits on the number of students, 500 in the first year and 1,000 in the second. Everything starts out small. And if they can prove that it should be grown, it can grow. If not, it's not going to grow. Right now, voucher students receive $6,500 from the state. Governor Walker had wanted that number to be $7,800. The new deal is $7,000. Right now, it's $7,000. It's a work in progress uh, because they're looking at should the high schools get a little more, the elementaries get a little less, working out the details. It's better than the original proposal, but... Uh... Uh, the devil's in the details. Democrats, who by and large oppose vouchers, still remain skeptical. This is still big government dictating to local government. These are decisions that should be made by local school boards. Lawmakers will spend the next few days working out the details before the Joint Finance Committee takes action on Tuesday. Reporting at the state capitol in Madison, Mike Lowe, Fox 6 News. After almost a year, Milwaukee County has a new parks director. This comes after a